dick. I don't know. So, spawning the top right. Gonna try to give Alloy one more point in this set in Purple Plane Pro Protoss. It's Ender Sword. Yeah, I was pretty sure that was a walkover, but Happy by 3 came in the chat and said it. Ooh, he missed his game, so I'm not sure. Anyway, and his opponent spawning the bottom left. Captain of the GNR. Can he overcome his fear of the Protoss? Mighty, mighty penis. Teals, Terran player, Ninkazi. Just realized that both players are playing with colors that allow for alliteration. Cute. Cutely done, sirs. I'm still on. Sorry. Still on the wrong one. Here's Endosword, top right. Here's Nikazi, top bottom left. Sorry about that. Nothing important has happened. Same setup as before. Like, we will see the same exact things. Um, I'd, like, I'd really like to see Nikazi actually use gas earlier. Uh, that seems to be hurting him a little bit, especially going for this one Rax play. Uh, he's not really, he's not able to scout. Um, it's hurt him in both games. Um, even though he, he, he figured it out in game one, but game two, had he had a Reaper, let's say, he would have been in a lot better position to see all those gateways that have been added on. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if anything goes a little bit better here for Ninkazi. But Indersword, just setting up as usual, adding on his first gas. Uh, he looks to be just a one gas kind of guy, at least to start off with. Not really a fan of that two gas expand build, I guess. That's all I know. What am I saying? So again, it's going to be just a one rack's gas to expand for Ninkazi. Unless something ridiculous happens, which I doubt. Uh, late pylon here for Indersword, but not a big deal. It's not like he's going to go for a zealot out of here, I doubt. No. And Nikazi is going to start expanding pretty soon. First Marine on the way. SCV moving across the map to scout. Again, pretty normal game, once again. And it's going to be up to Endersword to decide what he wants to do. With Z game. First Marine on the way, pushing the way. Nikazi is going to be expanding. I would imagine. Ooh, just build the Engineering Bay. Do it anyway. He skipped the Zealot. He skipped the Zealot. Yes, Engineering Bay block. This is what happens when you skip your Zealot. Dirty, dirty Protoss. So he's going down there to try to expand now. But oh wait, there's a problem. There's something there. So that's going to take a while. It's going to take a while to get rid of. Which kind of sucks. But hey, that's what happens when you don't actually... I mean, you went one gas. And Ninkasi's going to be as greedy as possible. Oh, please cancel it at least. No, he didn't even cancel it. He's not even going to bother. Maybe he, I guess he wants the turrets. Do you want the turrets? I've seen that before, where you get, where you actually just finish the engineering base, you can have turrets in your main base in case it is really the really super early Oracle, or Oracle, Oracle. And he, indeed, he hasn't actually seen anything in the main base, so it could be anything. Uh, but instead of expanding, uh, it just sort of just added on two gateways. He's up to three gates, and he's on two gases now. So he could be going again for another really super early pressure with a lot of gateway units. And yeah, again, Nikasi is actually going to go ahead and build a turret in his main base. Uh, he finished the engineering bay, may as well. So, hey, yeah, that works. Uh, these two, I mean, these two extra gateways are finished way, way early. Uh, he's going to go ahead and use a chrono on the gateway to tech. Uh, but he's going to have a lot of units out pretty quickly. And I think he might want to hide the fact that fact. Uh, but this, this, what's it called? SCV. He's going to be trying to move over to see this, but there's going to be a one stalker out. Might be a, s okay, he canceled one of these things. So it's going to burn down. And I'm just worried, it looks like he will still probably go ahead and expand, but he's got enough gateways where he can actually do a good amount of damage. And again, I don't think he saw it that time. Did he see the amount of gateways this time? We saw two extra ones. So that could still be the first two, and only be two gates, but yeah, he's not taking a chance this time. He's added up to three bunkers already, I think a depot. Uh, he doesn't want to lose to that same kind of pressure. He's going to be way ahead in economy for a little while, given that he does have two bases uh, to make uh, SCVs, but uh, Indersword is expanding behind this. Uh, Robo facility coming in as well. So yeah, Indersword is setting himself up to play macro. Um, He's not going to be able to really push in here with just gateway units with this many bunkers and what I imagine would be an actual repair. I mean, Dale's point, I think that getting to the natural is it's so huge to get to. Uh, it's, it's kind of difficult to even get down to that area to repair your bunker, even if you wanted to. At least here, it's a lot closer, so no big deal. 
Kakash shell and stem on the way, factory on the way. Um, no added engineering bay just yet after losing the original one. So it's intriguing. It did its job. It, it denied this base being up for a very, very long time. And now a scouting phoenix. Maybe the scouting phoenix will make him afraid. Who knows? But s still no actual like major tech choice out of Intersword yet. And again, I, it, I think it's mainly because he's he was stuck on this first base for so long he doesn't really have the minerals to put anything down. And again, he is, he's four deep in this. I'm just going to get in here and see everything. See that the natural is oh, there and alive. You see the amount of bunkers and realize, yeah, I'm not going to push into there ever. Four bunkers up now. That's a bit of overkill. Has he scanned and seen anything? I mean, he sees the natural. He does exist. He just scanned then. So... He knows that's there. He knows it's up. He should feel safer than he, I guess, is. Uh, and actually, gonna be an immortal to start with. And there's the robotics bay for it. So it will be Colossus, but it's very, very late. We're nine minutes in. That Colossus bay is just a robotics bay. It's just now starting. Um, I mean, because of all these bunkers, and Kazi is kind of put pretty far behind. He put himself kind of behind. He's kind of lost some of his edge. Uh, I mean, you can think of these these three bunkers could almost be a command center. Uh, rather than what he has currently, uh, and it's actually kind of difficult for him to produce off these off these uh, three buildings he has. He really should just go ahead and yeah, he salvages one. He should salvage these other two relatively soon. He's gonna have the amount of units he wants to be able to push uh, anything back. Um, Stem's about done as well. Plus one is on the way. Plus one armor should be on the way relatively soon. Since so he has the amount of money, there it is. Yeah, so both players are just trying to set themselves up. First Colossus will be on the way as soon as Andersword is not supply blocked, and plus one armor is on the way as well for him. So maybe we'll see a third base in this game. It's a possibility. Who does that? Third base, right? Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Should be cray. Still, so many bunkers. Uh, yeah, double drop. I'm really curious if the double drop is going to go to different areas. Yes, he's going to send the drops to different spots, but where is. Okay. Well, he sees it. He sees one of the drops with his probe. He doesn't see the other drop just yet. Uh, so he's going to be able to set up. Have some stalkers sitting on this ridge. If he just so uh, realizes he could do that. Oh, there's an observer over here patrolling. That's nice. It's a very wide path for it to patrol, though. And he didn't. Rea he hasn't reacted at all to this drop. Uh, where's his mothership core? Mothership core is also sitting at the natural. So uh, the drop in the main... May actually do a lot of damage. Finally, there's there's the response. There's the response. This this observer did actually catch that coming in, but same time, this drop will try to poke in. But everything is here. The entire army and mushroom core once it decides to do anything. So a few workers gonna die. Not too many though. Actually, only one worker dies. Only one worker dies, and he kills the medevac. So that's a big loss. At the same time, he he has warped in or dropped in the main, and he's getting a little bit done. But plus one armor is already finished. For the Protoss player, and it's just stem and concussive shell, and combat shield is actually finished too, yes. So he's lost two medevacs and two medevacs worth of units to kill uh, one worker. And that was fairly disastrous for Ninkazi there. And could see just a lot of gateways from Raider Sword right now. Really power out some gateway production. Um, I'm not sure why he's not producing out of that Robo facility, but hey, that's okay. And a siege tank of all things coming out. Kazi. He just wants every unit possible. He's got a couple of siege tanks, I guess. I mean, this isn't that scary of a force. Charges on the way, Tipo Archives on the way. Still no third base from either player. Andersword definitely has the money to do so. Did he just, like, pretend to drop one? No, he just. Okay, he just started a lot more gateways, that's why. And a second uh, forge as well. Plus two armor is on the way. Second forge, four more gateways being added on. So you'll be, you'll be up to seven gateways. Uh, once those finish, another drop trying to move out, but this drop is kind of blindly relying on, on the hope that this army is actually across the field, and it's not. And Nikazi doesn't know that because he has zero map control right now. There's still a probe sitting on a watchtower. That should that shouldn't happen. And this this is over is still seeing everything. There are, there's still these three bunkers here. <clears throat> and Kazi is just super super afraid. And again, this drop isn't really going to do anything. Scanning natural to seeing what's going on. Um, actually, this probe was moving out. Yeah, it's gonna make a third base. So finally, we'll see a third base being put down. Actually, the probe may end up spotting if he decides to go backwards. Breaking down the rocks. Breaking down the rocks. 
Drop's still sitting there. I feel like he wants to take his entire... That's a lot of freaking Vikings. You can stop making Colossus now. Is that eight Vikings? We have three Colossus? Two Colossus. About to be three Colossus. So eight Vikings, three Colossus. It's a good... It's a pretty good, pretty good trade there. Uh, but there's no answer for the storm right now, and there's no third base, so it'll be difficult. I'm not sure why Dinkasi is sitting back. He's being so, so, so passive on this, and really not much in the way of his uh, actual army. Adding on two more barracks right now, uh, but his his production is just so stunted because he's sitting on these two bases right now. Um, he does have 1-1. One, one. doesn't have 2-2 two, two on the way yet. There's been the, I don't know. It's been a little rough to get the money that he wants from sitting on these bases. He's got a, a good amount of workers. He's got 28 workers in his main, and 26 at his natural. He really, really needs to take a third. He's definitely got the workers to do it and to saturate it. And this guy's catcher is finally going to see this drop sitting up here, uh, whether or not he's actually going to react to it for a little bit. We'll see. Uh, first two, three Templar are on the field, so they exist. And actually, this drop's going to sit here and poke away at this third base. And they might, they might at least get through the shields. OK, they at least got through the shields. That's all they're going to get. So, you got 25 damage done onto that Nexus. So, we'll remember that later. If the Nexus dies by 25 health, uh, we'll realize that, that drop was the biggest deal possible. Um, but, until then, we were up to, what was that? 12? 11 Vikings. So good at numbers. There's just so few bio units. There's 18 Marines and 13 Marauders. There are four tanks, though. Uh, he's only taking two of them with him. Uh, so, this is kind of a scary force. Uh, it is a good amount of zealots, um, so if he sits behind these tanks, um, he, he could have a good chance, but actually he's moving out this army at pretty much the most opportune time possible. Storm is finished. He does have storms available on all of these Templar. He almost has two storms for them. Uh, drop is moving into the main, though, at the same time. And uh, with charge done, oh, storm, storm, big storms there, but nice kiting being done by Ninkazi. This drop is doing something. There you go. Do work. I'll oh, kill this pylon. Holy crap, kill this pylon. I mean, it'll, only, it'll umpire this much, I think. But still, that's a good amount. But he's, he's being smart. He's going for the tech. Uh, he wants to kill off the Temple Archives, at the least. Um, and he, and he's doing okay. He needs he needs a base. He does have a third CC finished. Uh, he could use probably three more CCs at this point in the game. But he, he did kill the Temple Archives, but he will probably lose his medevac for his troubles. Oh, it's going to run into this cannon. How depressing. Yep. So they got the Temple Archives, so that's nice. That's good. Just worry about Ghost for a little while. And he does have some Ghosts on the way already. So he does have the Ghost Academy built and ready and waiting. But, yeah, this is a this is a pretty powerful army from our Zerg player here. 2-2 is just about to finish for Nagazi. Uh, plus three armor is about to finish for uh, Ender Sword. And he has plus one attack as well. And he can start going to shield upgrades and ground weapon upgrades like crazy momentarily and in fact I imagine he will do just that he is getting plus two ground now uh, his third base is down earlier um, but he still has he has fewer workers than Nkazi and Nkazi really he's got a pretty good setup here it's a lot of Vikings it's a lot a lot of Vikings uh, if you can get uh, it's only and it's only three Templar it's really only three Templar and it's a ton of Vikings and it's a good amount of bio even with his, with his tank support uh, that could go pretty well for him but uh, I think if Indusor decides to do some some multi prong harassment he's gonna be in a much better position than trying to take out just, um, say, like the army alone. Uh, Vikings gonna sneak in here, and actually they may. They're gonna snipe one Colossus. Nope, not quite. Tanks doing nice, nice damage on the high ground. Kind of baited all those units into that. So, uh, Ninkazi, nice set here, but he's 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 forced in this very very passive position, and a double drop of double medevacs of just full marauders will chew through this nexus so fast and I swear if it dies by 25 25 health I I don't know I will give Ninkazi a dollar I will find out his PayPal because that would be hilarious I think it's gonna die by a lot more than that because this army is way in a position and that's a lot of marauders if they go for just the probes though or you know this pylon it's gonna go for he's gonna go for probes nope going for the Nexus go for the Nexus this could be huge this could be huge Oh, the Nexus dies by a ton, so never mind. It wasn't by just 25 health, but that, that huge hit squad. Doing work, and actually he's, gonna, he's realized that he, I kill the third, I can go home now, I'm fine. And he needs to start adding on some more CCs of himself, and more production, more production, more CCs. Plus three attack is 50% done, but I don't think armor ever got started. 
Uh, no attack upgrades for his Vikings just yet. That's a lot. That's a good, that's a nice setup. Nice setup. He's actually split his army into neat little chunks. It's like a kid with his M&Ms splitting them into the different colors. All of his army units are in <laughs> specific spots, which is kind of problematic, but Marauders poke in again and get... No, no, not even a cancel. One benefit goes down, but he, he killed off that Nexus again. That's another 400 minerals down for Endersword. Uh, he does have a, a really, really big army here. Uh, what is this? Five Colossus now? Uh, two Nexus are on the way. Uh, I don't think Mikazi has realized that this Nexus is up. He knows his pylons here, so you should probably go kill it, but oh well. Actually, Medivac might get picked off here. Can boost away, though. Never mind. So, it's a lot of ghosts. It's a lot of ghosts. It's a lot of Vikings. Plus three is just about to finish. You could really use plus three armor. And this is turning out. This is going decently well. Forty cause he's actually walling off this pathway with barracks. Super cute. Um, I thought we don't have any add-ons on them, but hey, who cares? As long as you're screwing up the AI of zealots who want to go over there. Um, I think Intersword saved most of his probes that were over there. Uh, so you don't, yeah, you know, there's very few probes been killed, so this economy is still basically intact. It's just a matter of getting the bases up. Uh, and really, this, the gas income has been so low for so long for uh, the Protoss player. He hasn't been able to get to the tech that he wants. Uh, just now adding on plus three ground weapons and plus two shields. Um, Nikasi really kind of needs to actually sent in all of his ghosts alone, and they all just got melted. And he did EMP, but shields regenerate. Um... If his whole army was there, and he attacked after the MP, yeah, sure. Um, but you just lost a lot of supply. You just lost 12 ghosts, basically for nothing. Tanks starting to shell away, but I don't think the Kasi really or he cares, but that's a lot of Vikings. There's, okay, there are still storms. These medibacks. Uh, Kasi has spread out pretty well, but there's that's a, a lot of storms. A lot of storms. There are a lot of Vikings, but there's just not enough actual army here for Ninkazi, and he's massively kind of losing this, uh, but the reinforcements actually walking back into, uh, walking back into the storm. There's only the two Colossus left, and 120 supply, 97 supply, and another a massive warp was over here, so, uh, and yeah, all those SCVs got killed, and Ninkazi is looking like he is gonna be having to tap out here. He has had a great setup, but he lost every single one of his ghosts all at once. Uh, and Endersword just kind of powered through regardless, uh, knowing there were no ghosts, and the storms still were there um, for our Protoss player, and he's killed off the base, he killed off the extra Scran Center that was built, um, so despite losing his 30cc twice, um, looks like Endersword is, is in a very good spot to take this this, this uh, match here. Mikasi stabilized briefly here, uh, it doesn't help that some of his barracks are producing from over here, but oh well. STVs actually are attacking the rocks. That is that is intense. Three Colossus at a time right now. How? Where are they? Okay, there they are. Three Colossus at a time. He, he killed all the Vikings, so... Yeah. There's, there's not going to be an answer for that. 30 minerals, 1,200 gas for Ningazi. Uh, this is looking a little upsetting for him. And he's going to try to take, take this base. But... Uh, Indersword can end this whenever he's whenever he chooses. He has plus three attack, plus three armor, plus two shields even. Uh, that's that's a beefy 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 army. Um, and because he's gonna gonna try to get out as much as he possibly can. Uh, CC is there, but it's 36, 36 SCVs on not much. It's a bit rough. It's a bit rough. Scanning, trying to figure out where the heck this army is. It's it's just chilling here. That's all. Much more Templar get warped in, get made into Archons, why not? And here comes the Death March from Inner Sword. And this is gonna be... This is gonna be rough. This is gonna be a little bit lubeless. Yeah. Everything is starting to just burn to the ground here for Ninkazi. Uh, this is the only working area um, for our Terran player here. Gonna repair... The orbital, which doesn't really work when you don't actually have any minerals. Um, that and it's not a planetary, so it's not getting any kills anyway. And yeah, Ninkazi is actually literally out of money. 14 SCVs left somewhere. Uh, probably all mining gas or something. And yeah, where did his army go? His army's in the main base for some reason. And another Nexus coming in for Indusor, just making sure that he's going to be safe. 
uh, in case something crazy happens. But um, that's a whole lot of Colossus. It's four Colossus right now. I think more are on the way. Even feedbacking these this one medevac. I don't know why Nikazi's staying in here. Um, so yeah, good game here from Midrasoid. He lost some early and early engagements, but uh, after killing off every single one of Ninkazi's ghosts, uh, that was basically it. Right, he is maxed, so he's not going to have anything back home to defend against this, except for cannons, which he is starting to put up a little bit more. Uh, but there's, there's no, 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 there's no point, really. Um, CC floating around, being ridiculous. Hmm. Note to future CTL players, don't do this stuff, just GG. It's rude. It's BM. It's as, it's as BM as, like, being BM, so... And it's annoying to casters, and it makes me less willing to actually want to cast for you, so... Yeah, just uh, tap out when you want to. The guy's gonna get a small moral victory. Gonna kill off this Nexus once again. Uh, so good for him. And he's gonna, he's gonna, oh, he's gonna get some more kills here. So good for him. Uh, but he is looking at 194 supply to 20 supply. <laughs> Everyone, he, every time he's actually got a, he's got a probe inside of that medevac as well. All these buildings running away. Uh, two stargates on the way. I guess Endersword is thinking that Ninkazi may be that ridiculous and is going to float his buildings around the map. I mean, he is floating his buildings around the map. Does he have blink? And there we go. GG. So that happens. That happens. So we're gonna have a final score, six to three, in this best of nine here.